How's it going, everybody? So I just got a call from the owner. Um, they're having a lot of paranormal stuff happening today. Shadow movement, um, knocking on shelves. And since I've been here, I've already seen a shadow in the back corner. Um, and the owner has closed the shop today because she's so terrified of having this thing open. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, start setting up some equipment. Um, I've already heard movement. I've already heard knocking. There's nobody else in here. Um, I know this store pretty well. There's not any mice. There's not raccoons, squirrels, or anything like that. It doesn't make any sense. And at one point, I definitely did see a shadow. I'm going to give you guys kind of a walking tour. I cannot mention the name or location of the uh, place that I am right now. Um, but let me take you for a walk around. Tell me what you guys get a vibe of. Hello? Oh crap, that was a knock right there. I feel like, I feel like whatever is here is hiding over here. It's so dark. I hear you knocking. This is the area. I get that vibe. Oh. Okay. I definitely know where I'm getting the vibe from, like freaking goosebumps on my arms. The problem with antique stores is you get a lot of activity due to things that belong to somebody else when they were alive. And there's so many things here that anything could be attached. Um, the back wall is where they're seeing shadow movement and they're hearing knocking. So far since I've been here, I've seen at least one shadow. Okay, never mind, scratch that. Too, because I just saw somebody duck behind there. And I've been hearing knocking. Can you make a noise for me? A really good one to just show me that you're here? And if you're hearing that, it's those... So Lost connection between data and Wi-Fi. Okay. I'm going to leave the monopod be for right now because we're losing cell phone reception, but I'm going to walk towards here and I'm going to set you guys up. You're going to be a part of the investigation. What I'm going to have you guys do is keep an eye down these aisles because you guys do is keep an eye down these aisles because it's this one in particular that I keep on seeing a shadow going down and there's a lot of knocking there. I'm going to set up a mag flashlight in the middle. Um, what I'm going to do because I'm in here alone, I don't have anybody here with me today. I'm going to turn on lights because you never want to go into the shadows alone. And I'm going to set up the mag flashlight. Then I'm going to shut the lights back off once all the equipment is set up. So keep an eye in there for me. If you see something, which like, just keep an eye on that for me. Start with these two. Okay, so we're gonna put the mag flashlight down here with it ready to go, and we're gonna have the music box to detect if there's any movement back there.
Feel free to play with the mag. Okay, so those are calibrating. Something already turned off the mag flashlight. If there's anybody here, can you make one of those devices go on? With the flashlight in the hallway, all you gotta do is tap it. Can you do that for me? Hello? It just sounded like somebody said no back there. That light was on too. You like playing pranks on uh, the owner. That's what she was telling me. You were knocking and you were moving down there. If you're upset and you want to know, we, you want to tell us why you're upset, I need you to give me some kind of sign that you're here. This is the real ghost hunting, guys. 90% of the time, you sit in the dark and you talk to yourself. But I really get a bad vibe here. I feel like there is something here. I'm gonna let that flashlight be. I'm gonna walk to the other side because I think that's what it is. Me focusing on that flashlight, you'll see it. It's right there. You'll see it come on if it comes on. Let me ask you this. If you want me to leave and you want me to leave you alone, turn on the flashlight, show me. I got that flashlight set up correctly. It's got it to the point. Make sure you hit the follow button, guys, by the way, as well. I'm gonna turn the light back on real quick. So I wanna make sure that that is in the point where they can tap it and it can turn on. How does that look like a person down there? Hello? I don't like that. Okay. Just coming down to check on this equipment real quick. I'm gonna do one better for you so you don't have to bend down. Okay? I'm gonna put it on this shelf. light on here for you to play with. Wait until I shut off the lights. Okay, and when I shut off the light, you can shut off that. It's already off. Are you kidding me? Can you turn that light back on? Can you turn that flashlight on for me? That was so freaking weird. 
Can you finish this rhythm for me? Something tapped that friggin' light. Scared it on the back shelf there. See it lit up? I hear ya. The light went back off, right? Did you shut the light back off? Did you guys see it go off? Was it before I turned the light off? It turned off when you turned the light off. No way. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light back on, okay? If I do that, can you turn that flashlight back on for me? Turning it back on just for a second. Gonna set up some more equipment. Lights off, turned off. Jesus. I'm gonna get more equipment out. Got another piece of equipment. Oh, hi. Yeah, just saw that. Okay, I got another piece of equipment for you to play with. This one's got different colors, okay? But I'm gonna set it a little bit closer to us, okay? There you go. Makes a cool noise too. I'm gonna put it on the floor. Feel free to play with it. There's definitely something here. Can you make one of the things light up for us? If you're willing to communicate, can you give us some kind of sign that you are? It's almost like when I'm walking away and I'm not paying attention. I'm not allowed to tell the location now. Uh, the location has to say a uh, secret. Um, the people that own the building don't want people coming in here and trying to do paranormal stuff or leaving haunted items. Um, there is definitely shadow movement back there. I do have the spirit lantern with me, yes. Like I said, when I leave, it wants to turn it on. It's always when I'm leaving and I'm not looking. This is a lantern REM pod. It is in the style of an old oil lantern. I'm gonna turn on the lights and go all the way to the back shelf and put this on the back shelf. Hold on. I'm going to turn the lights back on for a minute, okay? I'm bringing you another piece of equipment that you can play with. You'll probably like this one. It looks a little bit familiar, I would say. 
None of these items will hurt you. Okay? Like I've stated before. If there are multiple spirits here, can you give us some kind of sign? River, thank you for the follow. Are there multiple spirits here? Is that why it's hard to communicate? Is there so many of you that are trying to come through? If so, can you give us some kind of sign? There was just a really loud knock in the other room. Hello? It almost sounds like somebody's whispering in the back left hand corner. But there's nobody else in the building. I can see the wife, she's she's sitting over on her step. She will not come in. She closed down the whole antique store today. Was that what you wanted? Did you want the antique store closed today? <laughs> Is it, you gotta, I hear the knock. But I need something different than a knock because in my brain I can think that this could be a stick or the wind hitting. I need something definite. If that is what you wanted, was the antique store closed today, turn on one of the devices that I've left. Okay, thank you, I appreciate that. Can you turn it back off for me? Just to confirm that that is what you wanted? Holy crap. I wanna dive into this a little bit deeper to talk to you, is that okay? Okay. Okay, so all that is a mag flashlight. Is there something of yours that's in here that you don't want somebody else to own that was something that was special to you? And that's why you're so upset? Or did something get sold that was yours? It's a freaking raven outside. I thought it was a person screaming, it's a raven. Must have landed outside, sorry. Debunked on that one. It scared me for a second because it almost sounded like, yeah, like that, but it was a raven. The clicking noises, they have solar panel Christmas um, things that are in the window. I didn't want to remove them because they said when activity gets more ramped up, they get they swing more violently. They just like go to town, like they're swinging back and forth. I've already had it happen once since I've been here and you'll hear the difference. <coughs> I almost feel like I'm choking. <coughs> oh, that's weird. <coughs> Freaking sweating. Oh, 
Sorry about that, guys. Ugh. I don't have any water in here right now. It almost like tasted like smoke. That was freaking bad. And I got really, really hot. I actually started to sweat. I had to take my head off. I can't say where I am in the Adirondacks. That's... Can I ask, did you pass away in a fire? It wouldn't make sense for anything to be in here if it was in a fire, because it'd be so damaged. I wonder if she has any items that are were in a fire. I'm gonna need to ask her that. She doesn't want to be on camera and her voice doesn't want to be told. Like she doesn't want any of that to be on camera. If you passed away in a fire or maybe lung cancer? I wonder if somebody passed away from lung cancer in her family. I need to ask her this question. I don't want to put her on camera, but I want you guys to know that I'm going to ask her this question. Be right back. Keep an eye on this stuff for me. So lung cancer, correct? Is that what you're confirming? Because I got smoke in my lungs. I was coughing, trying to catch my breath. I was sweating. If you died from lung cancer, can you shut that light back off? Just to confirm? Be right back. Keep an eye on that. If you hear any of the equipment go off, let me know. Okay, just confirmed that the father-in-law passed from lung cancer. And they believe he actually wanders here because he likes it in here. If this is Bernard, can you turn on one of the pieces of equipment to confirm that? Wow. That's, uh... Thank you for the follows, guys. Make sure you share out the live. Make sure to hit the like button. And make sure to hit the follow button. Bernard, if that's you, can you please give us some kind of confirmation? We grab the SP7 spirit box. feel like there's something else here besides Bernard. Bernard, if there's something else here besides you. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Bernard, if I should be scared of the thing that's here, can you shut off that light to confirm if I should be scared? Okay, yeah. I'm not scared of whoever's here that's trying to mean 
uh, harm or scaring people, you need to stop. And if you can't stop, you will be removed from this location. Knocking in the back, in rhythm, not a branch, not wind. Turning on the SP7. It's ready, waiting for connection. Now, in SP7 mode. I hear you knocking. It takes a lot more than knocking to scare me away. I'm looking to communicate with whatever is here. My name is Jack, what is your name? Bernard! It just came through and said Bernard. That's the father's name. Thank you, Bernard. Can you come in and say your name again? Did you guys hear that? I don't know if you did, so. Can you say hello, Bernard? That was a female voice that just said Bernard, but that makes sense because they she said that they have two hauntings here that they know is Bernard, and the other one is her sister who died of a broken heart because she lost her husband. There's the confirmation. Thank you. Who else is here besides family? Can you say that again? Hello? I just thought I heard a disembodied voice of a little girl but it didn't come through the SP7. Hello? That's a different voice. Is there anyone here? What should I be afraid of here? What is here that Bernard said I should be afraid of? Can you give me some kind of word? I just said evil in a girl's voice. Did you just say evil? Can you confirm that with the flashlight or one of the pieces of equipment? I'm also going to give you another chance to say it a little bit louder on here. If you said I should be afraid of the evil that's here, please give me some kind of confirmation. A lot of knocking. Yeah, the hallways are, there's a lot of shadow movement that's happening. I kind of want to turn on the lights and walk you guys through 
Um, I feel like we probably have some empaths and mediums in here. Am I correct? Any psychics that are in here right now? If so, I want you guys to kind of, as I take you through looking at these items, let me know if there's any that kind of jump out to you. Okay, we got a medium right there. Okay, perfect. I'm going to set down the SB7. I'm not going to run it because it is loud and a little bit distracting. Maybe an empath? Okay. Let me flip the camera. I'd go in the dark, but right now there's so much stuff laying on the floor because they are kind of closing down the business. Uh, this is this is the account that I use now, yes. Sadness, okay. Probably a lot of sadness because unfortunately this antique store is going to have to go out of business. Um, oh, flashlight's on. Are you sad too that the antique store is going to be closing down? If so, can you shut off the light? It's flickering and it's off. There's a lot in this store that there's so much. Like, this is the thing. There's so much. I can't tell what, if not a lot, has activity. Of course, probably not the DVDs. <laughs> I keep on getting drawn to this piece. They say it's a yarn string holder. And I thought it was an incense thing, but it does, yeah. Uh, yarn holders usually have a hole. I don't know, I just can't. I get something with this. I don't know why. Hold on just one sec. I want to see. I want to see what this thing actually is. It's saying a yarn holder. What I keep on getting is that this is a religious like incense burner. No, they're right. It is a yarn holder. Okay. But there's another one that says it's an incense burner. Antique iron string incense burner. Yeah. I guess they're kind of both. Okay, let's walk around. Tell me if you guys feel anything. Something in the back corner. Okay. That's the vibe I was getting to is back corner. This is the tool area. I don't know if it's in there. In there. Feeling in the furniture room is a little bit heavier. No, it's just the pressure is... No, it's just the pressure is... It sounds like somebody's walking, but there's no upstairs. It sounds like somebody's walking, but there's no upstairs. It sounds like somebody's walking, 
but there's no upstairs. That's what gets me. There's so many mirrors in this room. I don't like that. Because you got mirrors on every side. Like, you literally make a portal at that point. Like, you can cause problems with that. The mirrors are just... This one especially. That one gives me the weird vibes. Lagging bad. Okay, I'll get out of here. Something's disrupting the service. Because I have Wi-Fi. I'm not even on cellular service in here. I'm on Wi-Fi. Furniture room, okay. Let's go back in here. The second I cross back in here, service is fine. Okay, so we got the equipment here. Music box is right there. That still works, good. That should have gone off by now. Okay, good. Music box is gonna go off. Old electronics, glassware. from Came and looked at this chest the other day. Sounds good, Lori. Thank you. Put a piece of furniture, put a piece of equipment in the furniture room. Good idea. Let's uh, let's do the REM pod that's in the aisle. That way, it's something we can hear. I really feel like it's something with that chest. We'll put this REM pod in there. What the hell? I just thought I saw a little girl right there. What is going on right now? Okay. If this is a little girl, maybe that's why you've been so scared to answer. If that was a little girl I just saw, can you give me a sign by turning on that flashlight for me? I think the little girl's attached to something in the furniture room. That's the vibe I'm getting. To the left, yep. I'm grabbing this piece of equipment. And I heard a little girl earlier, a disembodied voice right from that area. And I could have swore I just saw a little girl in a white and blue floral dress. Let me just make sure this is good. Wait a second. 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 Oh my God. That is exactly what I just saw. So somebody looks in a dress just like that. But the gold mirror. So somebody looks in a dress just like that. But the gold mirror. It's the furniture room. Can you make that go off again? Just like this. Ready? Make that thing just went off by itself, guaranteed. There's a couple pieces. I think she's got multiple spirits. So that's what I'm thinking. 
is that there are multiple spirits that are haunting this location. I have an idea. I think that I should reset up the mag flashlight, set up the phone, and put you guys down in the dark area. I just want to make sure emergency messages. I don't think I did. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys down in the dark corner with the equipment. Oh, at least three. At least. And then I'm going to shut off the lights and I'm going to leave the building. That way, you guys are now paranormal investigators. You're going to be in charge of telling me what happened. And the nice thing is I'm going to download this live. And when I come back, this smack flashlight is ice cold. I'm going to scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna leave the mag right here. I'm gonna leave the music box right here. I'm gonna leave the rum pot over here. I'm gonna leave you guys in the dark facing all this piece of equipment. If that goes off, that means something has broken that barrier. If that lantern goes off, that means something touched it. And if that flashlight goes on and off, that means something's touching it. Something's touching it right now. So, and it just went off. I'm gonna leave you guys in here for five minutes. And then we'll be back. I'm not gonna be inside the building. When I get back, I want you guys to tell me if you've experienced anything. Make sure to hit that live button. If anybody asks what's going on, they come in, let them know we're being left with paranormal equipment for five minutes when I come back in, we'll continue the investigation. That shouldn't go off again. All of that equipment should be off now. Leaving you guys in the dark. Be back in five minutes.
back in. Feeling is very, very, very powerful in here right now. Like it's spooky without the music. What's been going on, guys? Flashlight went off four or five times. Okay. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave the music box there. I mean, I'm gonna grab the flashlight. can hear talking, talking and walking. We just hear a woman talking. Wow. Okay, so the activity really spiked. Good, I'm gonna go back and watch all this. I'm gonna bring the flashlight back up front. See, the thing is, I can't, I wanna leave you guys on this for a little bit. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna shut the lights off in here and leave you guys facing this area by yourself too. I definitely hear someone talking. I want you to do me a favor. These flashlights are really durable. If you could do me a favor and knock that flashlight off, it won't break, but it'll be really, really amazing to see that happen. So this room, guys, is going to be darker than any other room in this place. Flashlight's off. When I shut this light off above you, you're gonna be in the pitch black. So you're gonna to have to really make sure your eyes adjust. What I'm also going to do is move the lantern REM pod in there. So just give me a minute. Okay. That rempod should not be going off. Okay. Shutting off the light now. Was that an orb that just flew by my head? Cool. Keep an eye on there. We shut off all lights. This is getting more activity. I go back and look. You guys are a part of the investigation. Let me know what happens. Hit the follow button. Hit the like button. Share this live out. Let's see if we can get to 20,000 likes. I'm leaving the spirits alone. They're knocking on shit. You guys go for it. Be back in five minutes again.
Coming back in. We're about to get hit with a severe thunderstorm, guys. Anything been happening in there? Glad it came back in because it said negative energy in that room. Look at that. The flashlight's going on right now. Well, to explain to you guys. Hello? Do you hear that rumble? Thunder and lightning. The only reason I'm turning the lights back on to walk through is because there's so much stuff on the floor I don't want to trip. I'm literally near multiple saws. I'm not going to die in here. <laughs> Hello? So we're about to get hit with a severe thunderstorm. So I think we should move everything back to where we had it originally and shut all the lights off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit. There's a lawn chair up here and we're going to see what we can capture during this thunderstorm in this antique store. Just right back here. I wish there was a way that I could cover both areas because this hallway as well, but this is the one that I feel is the most active. That storm's about to hit too. Let me grab that equipment. just died in the mag. Nope, there it goes. What is going on? Enough lights. Did that flashlight just move? Did that flashlight just move? I just heard a roll. Where's the flashlight? that balance too okay that's really really weird look that's how it was sitting hold on a second just give me a second guys See this flashlight is good, sitting right there. Not bumping the shelf. That's weird. I want to show you what we're dealing with outside, though. Real quick, can't release too much information about the place, so I gotta be careful. 
I'm just gonna got a thunderstorm that's coming in right now. Flashlight's on. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the lights. And go ahead and keep the flashlight on if you'd like. Flashlight just shut off. Thank you. I'm gonna start counting. When I get to the amount of spirits that are here, I want you to shut the flashlight off for me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, I don't like that this is going high, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, what the hell is that? It looked like something moved up to the flashlight right when I was saying 22 and then the flashlight went off. It looked like something in the back there. Are you confirming that there are 22 spirits at this location? If so. What the hell was that? If so, can you turn that light back on for us? a knock in the back corner. I'm going to count up again. I'm asking how many dark spirits are here. Okay, so when I stop counting, or when I uh, reach the number, I want you to shut the light back off for me again, okay? One, two, I'm gonna go a little bit slower. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22. Again, there's shadow movement right behind the flashlight. You said there was only 22 spirits here. I feel like you're not giving me correct answers. Are there any spirits that are here that actually want to communicate? We got a bad thunderstorm coming in.
23? I don't know. If I had a dollar bill on me, I would. <laughs> I don't have anyone. I have any, uh, I don't even have my wallet on me right now. Hey, how's it going? Uh, is it Kaya? I don't think I have a dollar bill in my wallet. Do you know what she has here? She has a Confederate bill. She has a Civil War Confederate bill. I wonder. Is there a spirit attached to the Confederate bill from the Civil War? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, thank you. Oh, back wall just got hit. Oh my God, that's why I was drawn to that thing. If I heard, oh my God, you're welcome, I'd be running out that door. <laughs> wow. Are there multiple entities? You did say bad accident. And I said I started feeling coughing, but that was the lung cancer, that was her father. But I feel like there's a negative energy. Are you upset that somebody in the northern states has your money? Yeah, when you said dollar bill, that's when it hit me because I've I've picked this up and I've I've touched the dollar bill that they have. That's what upsets you is that that bill is, what if I told you that I collect Civil War items? Would you like me to try to purchase this Civil War bill? And to keep it with other items that were from the Civil War? Okay. I wonder if 22 had another meaning. I don't know what lit up back there. There's nothing else that lights back there. So 22 has another meaning besides 22 spirits. Is it the 22nd regiment? Were you a part of a were there 22 of you that died in battle? Were there 22 of you that handled that bill? That's the vibe I'm getting. Were there 22 of you that handled the Confederate bill? Oh, somebody's asking, was he... Were you 22 years old when you passed away in the Confederate Army? I'm hearing bootsteps. Something's moving towards the flashlight. I just saw shadow movement and the light went off. You were 22 years old? <sighs> that thunderstorm's coming in and I'm starting to, hold on, let me just make sure. <laughs>
Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Are you the person that's causing the activity? You say girl in a white dress. Did you guys just see a girl in a white dress? Why does that look like a face in the reflection right here? Right there. The storm will provide energy. That's why we're not leaving. Does the little girl in the white and blue dress have any connection to the Confederate bill? What is that? There's nothing back there that reflects like that. And there's movement. The paper will work. Okay. How, so where do you guys think I should put the paper? Let me, I'll find a piece of paper. You think on the shelf next to the flashlight? <gasps> There's footsteps. There's footsteps walking right towards me. I'm going to grab it. I'm gonna turn on the light so I can find some paper. Oh my God, there's one dollar bill sitting on the counter. I'll, I'll bring it back to her. There's one dollar bill sitting on the counter. That's so weird you guys said that. You're interested in a bill. I would like to show you one of our bills that we have. And feel free to come touch it, okay? I'm gonna put it right next to the flashlight. Feel free to touch that, that dollar bill. I'm gonna go talk to the lady and let her know that I would like to acquire the Confederate bill. The bill is right in front of it. I will be right back, guys. We're shutting off all the lights again. Let me know what happens. Flashlight's on. You want to stand here? You don't have to say anything. You just watch. People are saying it's standing there. 
Can you confirm that you are a soldier that is looking for the Confederate bill and that you are attached to it by shutting off the flashlight? You guys have screenshots? Good. Thank you. Oh, they've all... They all see them. They've all, we got a face in the flashlight. She's gonna see if she can locate the Confederate bill. Would you like us to bring the bill out? Okay, flashlight's on. She's gonna go try to find the bill. Yeah, that face is very prominent. We're going to retrieve the bill. Okay, there you go. Getting a name, but not a full name, just a letter. Can you give us the first letter of that name that you're getting, Kaya? You're standing in a soldier stance. Do you have any other soldiers here with you? If so, please give us a sign. Thank you. So G or J. I'm gonna say some names. When we get to your name, I'd like you to shut off the flashlight. George, is your name George? If so, shut off the flashlight. Guys, type in, okay, so Jim. When we get to your name, I want you to shut off the flashlight. Jim, okay. So it shut off at Jim. Jim, if that is you, can you turn the flashlight back on to confirm? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing again, and let's just, I'm gonna read off names, I'm gonna put Jim at a random location too, so here we go. Joseph. Oh. Do we have Jim and Joseph here with us? She's coming back in right now. Don't know where it is? Okay. So we just got the name Jim. Is another name, okay, so flashlight's off. Okay, confirmed is Jim. The, the person that owned the Confederate bill. Why, why are you shaking your head? I know you don't want to be heard because... My brother-in-law's name is Jim. Did he own the bill? No. No, okay. It's just kind of weird. And he passed? Do you want me to ask if it's him? Because I asked if... I, it, flashlight's on. 
Okay, so Jim is actually the name of the owner's brother-in-law, um, and he has passed away. So we're going to – Jim, if this is, is you – and not the person that owns the bill and you just kind of came in because she just came in. <laughs> um, can you shut off the flashlight to confirm that? Thank you, yep. Flashlight's dimming, something is playing with it. It's a lot of gems, okay. Oh, ooh, there was a shadow on the ceiling. Right above the ceiling fan. Was that you that just caused that shadow on the ceiling? If so, shut the flashlight right off. We've already had the flashlight roll too. Did you guys see the shadow on the ceiling? Okay, flashlight's off. Anything you guys capture on here, if you have screen recordings, screenshots, feel free to follow us on our Facebook page. You can message us those there or on our Instagram. Uh, go to our profile and in the link in our bio is our website. Our website has all of the direct information uh, to all of our social media platforms where you guys can message us personally. So just go straight to the um, profile on here and you'll see there's a website link you can click on that and then you'll see on the website where it has all of our profiles something keeps on blinking the flashlight almost like in morris code what's three blinks three fast blinks is that sos Are you giving us an SOS signal? If you're giving us an SOS signal, please turn on the flashlight to confirm. Hmm. Is it gone missing? Lights back on. Earlier, I heard what sounded like somebody walking on the roof. There's what? Are you serious? That's what we've all been hearing as a little girl. The owner just heard the little girl talking. Yeah. So the Confederate bill's completely gone missing. Okay, so the Confederate bill's completely gone missing. Maybe that's why it's agitated. You don't know where it is, and he doesn't know where it is. I think when we turn this into our eBay warehouse, we have that hanging on the wall, and we keep it here. It was right here. Because when you were asking about it, I put it right there. Yeah. I remember you putting it right there. Is that why you're upset? Is that why there's a heightened inactivity? Is because you're upset you don't know where the bill is, and she doesn't know where the bill is? If that is why, flashlight's on. There it is. Okay, so it's because we don't know where the Confederate bill is. Uh, ask your, I would ask your husband if he knows where it is. If he doesn't. Ooh, that's weird. Because he doesn't come out here. He's only been out here when you've been out here. Did you take the bill back? If you took the bill back, knocking in the corner right there. Shut off the flashlight if you took the bill back.
Lights off. That's weird. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a lot of disembodied. I haven't even had to turn the SP7 on. The, that... the little girl said he did. Mm -hmm. And the thunderstorm's right over us right now. I got my dousing rounds. I'm going to turn on the lights. Feel free to still play with the flashlight. But I'm going to bring some pieces of equipment out that you can manipulate with me, okay? And turn the flashlight around. Or the uh, camera. What's that? Okay. She's going to continue to look for the... Um, and I'm going to put this here. They can't see you, so don't worry about that. Okay. So I'm going to use these dousing rods. And we're going to see... Okay, to confirm that we are communicating, can you cross? Thank you. Can you open them back up? Awesome. Can you point to the owner? Thank you. Can you point straight forward again? Thank you. Are we talking to the soldier? Ooh. Does that sound like drum beats? I just heard. That's what, yeah. I heard. The knocking is drum beats. You know what? A lady was in here yesterday beating on that drum. Maybe that's sort of activity too, because that's how they kind of got you ready. Yeah, a lady was beating on that drum yesterday. Let's ask. Okay, get these even. Was the lady that was beating on the drum the other day what also kind of caused the activity? Put you at attention. Thank you. Can you point me to the item that you're attached to? Can you point me to where the Confederate bill is? It's saying it's there somewhere. It's saying somewhere inside the glass cabinet. I bet you I put it in the drawer. She said she bets she puts it in the drawer. Let's find out. Can I, if I don't show your face, is it okay to bring the camera over? Okay, just wait. Okay. If it's in that freaking drawer, that's gonna be nuts. Because you said you couldn't find it, and you didn't think about that drawer. The energy in here is like strong. I've never been scared to be in here. Ever. It's. I wasn't scared. It was just. Yeah. Tense. Yeah. It's the energy. It's your your body has this fight or flight mode. That you you this natural feeling and when you get that energy that comes it just it was like trying to draw me to that back corner and the flashlight just turned on when you said that too it wanted me you can see it. yeah she's gonna look in that drawer and see if it's there that was the dollar the dollar bill that's placed next to the flashlight let's go take a look at it together while she's looking for that is it in there Okay. Thought that's why you said, "Oh my God!" I was like, "Color oh, bill is just nice and crisp." That oh my God! That dollar bill, its corner is bent straight up. It was not bent when I set it there. That that bill was flat and crisp. I am, I'm kind of like flabbergasted right now. I can help you, hold on. I'm back here. It's bent straight up. That bill was not bent. 
<gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. That was the REM pod just went off by itself in the, in the furniture room. That thing never goes off. I got goosebumps. All that beeping? What just happened? Did something just get thrown? That got moved. What got moved? My tote just got dragged. Your tote just got dragged? Yeah. I, I'm not on you at all. So. No. That just got moved. Yeah, and that's really heavy. Because I just heard. That's what I heard. And it's heavy. It's not like. <laughs> it just started me. Yeah, no, I heard that. That's what made me jump at that. What made me really freak out is the REM pod never goes off. That REM pod is extremely hard, and it... Where's the REM pod? Oh, the REM pod's right by the dollar bill. Something had to pass by the dollar bill. I was up there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I forgot. I, that's, that music box is going off because I'm walking in front of it. That went off. That means I caught it on camera. Hopefully, I wasn't in the way. Yes, this is an antique shop. Oh, my God. As you guys can see, I can't cause that to go off. That just went off. Look. I'm... I... Oh, my God. Are you causing the REM pod to go off and the flashlight? It's really cold here right now, actually. Can you shut the flashlight back off? Is that thunder? Yeah. We'll step outside for a minute. Because I'm also hearing footsteps in the furniture room. I'm just going to step outside for just a sec to catch. I somebody yeah, I heard somebody. It sounded like. Did it sound like a creaky floor? Yeah. Because that's what I said I kept hearing. It's a creaky floor, and it's a metal roof. Oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to be anybody up there. <laughs> Holy shit, this is why we're getting activity. Look at this. Okay. This is... The REM pod went right off. Did you find it? It was in the drawer. No. But it was in that drawer. But it pointed to where the, where the... It was in that drawer. So it pointed correctly with the dowsing rods. It was in that drawer. How did it get in there? Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring this out to the shelf for that. For it. Flashlight's on. I think we have what you've been looking for. Yeah, that, I don't, I heard that move too. Right at the same point, the REM pod went off. Is there anything with the number 22? Anything number 22? Yeah, he's been saying 22 this whole time. Two years after the ratification... Federal Confederate. That was from the antique room. Or the uh, furniture room. Just seeing if the number 22 is on this billet anywhere. Okay. To subscribe, thank you. Okay. I'm bringing your bill to you, okay? I'm just going to set it up here. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. 
I have to touch that antenna for that REM pod to go off. Every time I keep walking towards it, it goes off. It, it doesn't, it's not motion activated. You have to get this close for that to go off. So that means something is running by as I'm walking down. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lean this up against this nice mixing bowl here. There's enough weight there. Just make sure. Yep, good. If that is the bill you're looking for, shut off that flashlight for me. Is that storming outside? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to shut the light off. Or we're going to turn the camera around. There's our confirmation on our haunted item. Okay. Is 22 on the bill or in the wording of the bill? What we asked him originally was, was he 22 years old? And he did confirm it. But I'm seeing if anything has to do with the bill. Okay, so I'm going to shut the lights off so they can see the flashlight a little bit better too. That also sometimes looks so that you'll be able to see shadow when it's so much easier too. Well, thank you for helping us find the bill with the uh, dowsing rods. Just sneak by real quick. Is there shadow moving again? Oh yeah, furniture room has. Here, I'm just gonna turn like this. It's always when I. Here, do you want this chair? Oh yeah, there's there's been shadow movement this whole time. So you have you definitely have a haunting here. I think we found the item though, which is the Confederate bill. It makes sense because it wasn't in sight anymore. But with that being moved and the drums being beat yesterday. Uh-huh. That can definitely stir up activity. You, a drum beat will be um, would be a trigger, like a, a sound trigger. Um, having the bill being moved into an area where it's not on display, because before you had it on display, it's almost like a, a sign, uh, like a disrespectful thing. Okay, yeah. So, did you feel disrespected because the uh, bill was put away? Okay. The storm's getting a lot stronger outside. But I'm going to ask a question, and since we're having a good level of communication right now, I'm going to start counting up. When I get to the amount of spirits that are here, I want you to turn on that flashlight. One. Two. So right now there's two. It always can change. Does it change from time to time? Well, one person was asking, is there a portal in the furniture room in one of the mirrors? If that is the case, can you give us a sign by shutting off the flashlight? There's talking back there. Mm -hmm. As for a sign. <laughs> I want to know if it's me. Am I allowed to say your name? I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask a different yeah, way. You can. Is the person to the left of me what's causing the activity here in the store? Are spirits attracted to her energy? If so, turn on the flashlight. There's a knock, like a very definite knock.
I almost feel like there's something here that's keeping things from communicating as well. Is it, okay, thank you, okay. Is what, is it the soldier that's keeping people from communicating, the Confederate soldier? Is it something else that's keeping spirits from talking? Something that was mentioned earlier. Okay. I think you have something behind me about that bag. And they're mad. The doctor's bag? Yep. It's left something here behind? Because there's still pieces of the stuff that was in it. I didn't know that. We separated the piece? There's still pieces that would definitely make a spirit upset are you upset because i took the doctor's bag and some of the pieces but not all of the pieces yep flashlights on how much for the rest of the pieces there's a couple more pieces of doctor's equipment i bet you that's what really is that's why it's active at my house too that's why is, we've been having the knocking that the evil that's in your though is that the, is it the is, the, is the doctor the thing that's evil that's in here right now because he's upset about all of the pieces of medical equipment not going with the bag? Yes. Is he upset that I'm selling it because I don't want it in our house because of the activity? If so, turn on the flashlight. Now he's not upset about that. I think there's a little boy that was attached to the doctor. Are you serious when you just said that? Because our our step my stepdaughter just said that there she was playing with a little boy. Because I told yes, because there's we got that doctor's bag and there's cars always lined up out here. Is there a little boy that's attached? Yep, light just came on. That's the little boy that's playing with my stepdaughter. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm going to give you these tools. Ask her. If she gives me the tools and I bring them and make sure the set is all together, would that make you happy? If so, shut off the light. Yeah, he's flickering the light. Yep, light's off. Wow, so there was a lot that was mm -hmm. sound forks and everything. Mm -hmm. The little hammer. Oh, yeah. So now that I have these and I'll put these with the bag, does that make you happy? And will you stop all the hauntings here and at my house? If so, turn on the flashlight to show us that you will stop. Okay, thank you. I'll make sure to keep everything together. I love these sound forks. I do too. I'm gonna take another look to make sure there's nothing else. Okay. I want to be. Somebody says I don't know if they're being honest. What? The the spirit about. <clears throat> Yeah, and now it's flickering the light almost like it's mocking. Hmm. I have a question. <laughs> and the light just went off when I said that. Is it a trickster? Is the little boy a little boy? If so, turn on the flashlight.
I don't like those shape shifting trickster tickets. Uh -huh. If the little boy is a trickster or a shapeshifter or something impersonating a little boy, please turn on the flashlight to confirm. Okay, so that doctor's bag's definitely coming out of my house because the little boy's been playing with my stepdaughter and that's not okay. No. That doctor's bag is for sale on my eBay page. I've already posted a video today about it. If somebody collects haunted items and is looking for it, it's all yours. <laughs> yep. But I have in the writing for the eBay sale, I'm not responsible for any possession, hauntings, harm that may come to you with owning an item like this. Uh... I probably, I will never, no, no offense, uh, but I will never sell anything to Zach Bagans. Because I don't want these spirits, to, this thing should be bought, kept, and put away. And if nobody buys it, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to bless around it so these spirits can be at peace. Not so somebody buys it to do uh, like Zach would do with his Ouija boards and try to pretend like he's possessed. I have no respect for people who fake things. I do have anointing oil too, yes. I actually had Zach Bagan's museum reach out for a piece. Um, it was, I had a piece of the Amityville house. I had the last existing piece. My friend worked there, actually, Dan Buckley. In 1989, he worked in Long Island as a uh, construction worker and they had to re-renovate the Amityville house and it was taken apart. Um, something by the flashlight, yep, I see that. Long story short, I got a floorboard from the bedroom where the family was unalived, unfortunately. And that was very haunted and that actually resides with the psychic who I'm bringing out on Monday. He might... Uh, We'll see what happens with the doctor's bag. He's actually taking a Ouija board for me too that was dropped off at my pr property. Um, basically, there there was an attachment on the uh, the floorboard because it was the only piece that was left of the Amityville house. The rest of it, ha it had literally been brought down to the skeleton. Even the half moon windows were taken out. If you go to Amityville now, they're gone. They were taken out in 1989. One was completely rotted to where it fell apart. The other one was taken by the other man who did construction and he passed away unexpectedly from uh, unaliving himself. And then I got this uh, floor grate and there was footsteps all around and it was really bad. So uh, it is now in a private collection. Now, would he be okay if we had that on display? Would you be okay if we had the Confederate bill on display as a way of respecting and remembering and remembering it? If so, can you turn on the flashlight? Feels like he's gone. It's, it feels different in here. Is the soldier gone? It feels different in here. Yeah, the soldier's left. Mm -hmm. So he's happy you found it because it's now found. So who are we dealing with right now? They are thinking it is a trickster. What do you mean? The doctor's bag's been gone for four days. And it's been having activity at my house for four days. Right. But this, what I felt this morning, just started today. And I came in yesterday. Wonder if he came back with me. Because we didn't have activity last and night. It was the day before when he told me about the little boy. And I said, I think it's attached to the bag. Well, I will be putting all the tools in together with it and mm -hmm. 
Hopefully it will go to a person who will respect it. I was going to keep it with my person, but the second we brought it to our house, uh, Analia came over and went, oh, um, I'm playing with a little boy on the stairs. And it was just after you got... Yeah. If this little boy is not a little boy and he's a trickster, then um, yeah. that needs to... Yeah, thank you. Confirming. Okay, that will be... Now, had I not given you half the tools... I think he's attached. Or I think he's still attached. To all of it. Yeah. So I think that's why we both were having similar activity. I was getting knocking and hearing a little voice. We were seeing a little boy. You were having knocking, having something being playful, like a trickster. Yeah. Like peeking around the corner. Yeah. Knocking. So, you think it's worse? Okay. I, I hate to ask this question. I, I'm just going to ask this. Um, I'm going to ask that the, the spirits on the other side that follow me, my spirit guides, will help confirm this, this question. Is the entity that is attached to the doctor's bag demonic? If so, please turn on the flashlight. Of it. That's the little boy. Yeah. Is the little boy a demonic spirit? If so, turn on the flashlight. I just heard a voice off to my mm -hmm. right. Did it flash? No, that was a growl. That's my stomach. No. No. Oh. I know, I know the difference. Okay, my stomach growled almost at the same. The second time was your stomach. Yes, the, first the time second time wasn't. Okay, I need to get that bag out of my house. I'm gonna, Amanda, are you on here? I think Amanda usually watches. Amanda, if you're on here, uh, I need you to take that doctor's bag and put it on the porch. I will be home soon. I don't know if she's here or not. Sometimes she watches or she'll set the phone and she'll walk away. So the demonic end is not left here. The demonic no, end went with the bag. Yeah, it's the little boy that's playing with. Yeah, that needs to be taken out of the house. Where is it? It's in our bedroom on the shelving unit where all the eBay stuff is. I need you to just take it and put it out on the porch and I will remove it from the property and put it at a storage facility that I have until it sells. But we have a, we, yeah, that's a demonic spirit that's attached to that. And I'm going to be coming home to Sage and do Palo Santos around the house. Thank you. I do feel different now. I don't feel as tense. And... I think the soldier was the tense part. Because it, it wasn't an evil. It was a, uh, I'm upset. Yeah, it was just trying to draw me to the back yeah and none of the other because i'm usually talking to them yeah. and i get you know the lights will flicker to answer me or but it's always a morris code in that corner yeah so this is well i have john who's the psychic who's coming up on monday mm -hmm. he's i'm gonna take him to my house as well because now he does blessings and removes i'm gonna have to contact sheila too um and then I'm gonna remove the doctor's bag off the property for now. Okay. See, the, it doesn't scare me. None of the activity in the house or in here scares me. Just this morning, it was just intense. Yeah, there's a lot of just, energy when I walked just in here. A weird. And yes. It was, it was just the, energy. The first thing that you saw is you saw what I saw with the shadow. Yeah, there was definitely shadow movement down there, and people have been seeing it on the live too. How many people have we had in here? Twenty-two hundred. No, twenty-two. Look, right there, total views, 2,200. It says we've had 2,200 people view. Was that what the 22 that the soldier was talking about, that we would find our answers yeah. at 2,200? If that is the case, shut off the flashlight for me.
I literally have cold chills right now. Mm-hmm. Were you talking about 2,200 views? That's insane. I just saw what looks like a person off to the right. Mm-hmm. Right here. I saw somebody right here. Mm-hmm. Twenty two hundred. Because it was here, it wasn't over there, and then it went there, mm -hmm. over there. Shout out the flashlight. Knock to confirm. <laughs> We're good. You can turn on the lights. Go ahead. Yeah. No, we have. That's it. Thank you, Jim. Oh my God. Thank you to the spirits that came and communicated with us. We're ending communication. That means that you can't follow me home. You can't follow her home. And you can't mean anybody harmed that comes in here. If you are a demonic entity, you are not welcome here. And you need to leave. Here's your, uh, your dollar bill back that I... Okay. That was the REM pod going off again. Here's that for you. That was sitting out there. I just wanted to... And the flashlight's going off. That's like... Okay, we're going to put the Confederate bell up on the register. Okay. That sounds good. We're going to have this put up. I think I'm going to hang it right here. be good it's up there on display next to a big oval mirror <laughs> how many lines are on the bill well that's it looks like an h but it looks like a two then there's another two so 22 there yeah never even thought about that hmm I don't feel like that spot's good. Something feels off about that. I feel like somebody's gonna open that door, that mirror's gonna shift, and that thing is gonna fall. I wanna put it somewhere where it's in plain sight of the cash register. That's a good spot right here. Just gotta get that screw to hold. There we go. Well, that was a very, very active case. And I guess I gotta bring these tools home to the doctor's bag. And I'm gonna have to talk to John about the, uh, the whole cleansing the house thing. That REM pod going off like that. I've owned this thing for a couple years now and I've never. Really? Let's try that again. Why is that doing that? It's like something's following me back and forth. This does not. I didn't even move that time. And now nothing. Okay, moving back. I bet you that's, this might be that little trickster, the little boy. Because it, it's not going off the same points. Like right now, I'm, I'm next to it. See? And then I'm back. Can you walk towards me? Come on. I'm 
I'm literally right next to it. It's not going off. I have to move my hand like that. Okay, this is really... This is really weird. What is going on with the REM pod? I don't know what's going on with that. That's so freaking weird. I've never had that thing do that. No, I don't think it's a cell phone signal because I've had this thing around cell phones a lot and it's never gone off once. I've had this thing go off maybe, okay, maybe a couple times and I've done now over a hundred investigations with it. So it doesn't make sense that it would be a cell phone signal because it should have gone off every time if it was the cell phone signal. I'll set you guys up here. I do know that walkie talkies can set off um, REM pods. Walkie talkie signals can. But if it was the cell phone signal, then it should be going off every time I'm doing a TikTok live and it doesn't go off. So, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, I've got to grab the dowsing rods. Well, I'll have John come over on uh, Monday and help cleanse our house. Um, and I'll remove that doctor's bag. I'll leave it on the porch for now, and then it will go over to the new property. Because uh, I'm not going to put the safety of my stepdaughter at risk. So that'll be removed. There's a flashlight right there. I didn't even buy it because it was haunted. I bought it because it was the best. Um, I've never seen a doctor's bag in such good condition before. That's why I was interested in it. Not because it was haunted. I had no idea it was haunted. But then we had all that stuff happen. It is for sale on eBay if somebody wants it. And it comes with all the doctor's tools. So if you want a haunted item that you can do paranormal investigations around, go for it. But um, from what the spirits just said, it is demonically haunted. So I would... Uh, Suggest being careful if you do buy it. All I know is I don't want it at my house anymore. Our eBay is um, Explorers Antiques. If you go to our Facebook page, go to our website from here. There's fans, yeah. I will be careful and I'll keep an eye open on stuff. Um, I am going to be uh, blessing the house and everything too. Okay. That's the SP7. Got the lantern, got the REM pod, got the flashlight. There's the monopod. My other cell phone's right there. But I uh, can confirm that there is a haunting happening at this location. Can't confirm where it is. Because we got to keep it secret. They don't want the public knowing about it. Because then, you know, you know how people can be. But I believe that in this location, there are many spirits that are going to remain here. She said that she feels better. And I do really think that the Confederate soldier was stirring up the anxiety, um, goosebumps, stuff like that. But there is, I feel something else here. And I do see your comments. I see everybody saying something with the mirrors. And I agree with you. That there is something in there. I just don't know what it is yet. I just can't. 
Sorry, that's my stomach. I haven't eaten today. I apologize. I literally got this call, treated it like an emergency, and I ran out the door. I have not eaten at all, so... I can't give away the location because they don't want people coming here for the hauntings. They want people coming. This store is actually closed. Okay, that just got moved. Um, the store is actually closing. And this is becoming an uh, eBay warehouse, basically. So we'll have our eBay stuff here. Um, so my eBay is Explorers Antiques. If you go on our website, you can go to our Facebook, SVC Explorers of the Unknown. Um, same as the name here on TikTok. Go to our Facebook, and um, we just posted the doctor's bag on there, a link to it. So for right now, guys, I'm going to close everything up, and I'm going to get him home. So with that being said... Uh, thanks for joining in. Thanks for all the new subscribers, followers, uh, likes, and shares. And we will see you guys on the next adventure. We have a new episode that's coming out soon. It is about haunted dolls. We went to the Underground Railroad Museum where there are haunted dolls. That will be coming up within the week. Um, we're just working on that. Right now, Evan is in another country. So we've got to wait for him to get back. Anyways, guys, talk to you soon.